Hi, my name is Josh Noble. I'm co-author of the book Pro SharePoint 2010 Search. I'm also a search consultant for Surfray, a leading provider of search enhancements for SharePoint. Uh, today I'll be showing you a couple ways to utilize permissions and audiences to create customized search experiences in SharePoint 2010. We'll be looking at how to set permissions for search pages for specific user groups. We'll also look at how to target a search web part for a specific audience. I also recognize that a number of you in attendance are using Ontolica Search for SharePoint. So after showing you a few tips for working with audiences in basic SharePoint 2010, I'll also address a couple interesting features for audiences in Ontolica Search for SharePoint. In Ontolica, I'll demonstrate how to customize a quick filter that is targeted to a specific audience. I'll also show you how to create search query suggestions that are generated based off of the user's experience. Moving into our environment, to start I want to show you how to utilize different search pages to create specialized search experiences for your users. In my environment, I've decided that I have two very distinct user groups, marketing users and engineering users. Both of these types of users look, very, look for very different types of information. Uh, both of them want something different from their search experience. So, to save us a lot of time, I've already set up search pages for both of these user groups and added them to tabs within my Enterprise Search Center. Once these pages were set up, I can use permissions to appropriately restrict pages and page access to members of the engineering and marketing groups, respectively. To edit the permissions of each page, I need to go to the Site Actions. So, first I'm going to click on the particular tab I want to work with. Then I'm going to go to Site Actions, and I'll go to Manage Site Permissions. In this example, I want to set up the marketing search page so that only members of the marketing permission group can view it. As you see here, I've already created a marketing permissions group. The topic of creating and managing permissions is beyond the topic of this discussion, uh, but I, if you do have questions about creating permissions, uh, please feel free to email me after this webinar and I'll direct you to some helpful resources. Getting back on track, uh, if I click on the group name for marketing, I can see all the members of this group. I can then add people to the group or remove them from the group uh, to change access permissions. If you get to this step and you get an error that you cannot view the people with permissions, uh, make sure that you double check that your own account has permissions to work with this. In fact, I had some significant issues yesterday with my personal account, uh, so I decided just to simply log in as central admin for purposes of this webinar. So I'm satisfied with the people that I have in this permissions group, so I just want to jump out and back into my search center and double check that the permissions are set correctly for the engineering group as well. So here I'm going to jump to the engineering tab and go through the same process. I'm going to go to site actions, site permissions, and here I'm going to look at the engineering group. Keep in mind that permissions allow you to completely block access to content. So by setting permissions for these sites, I've restricted my user's ability to even see the site exists, even if they knew the URL. It's important to also point out that this is very different than audiences, which we'll work, at, work with in a few minutes. Audiences allow you to simply adjust the web parts that are displayed to u different user groups, but audiences do not completely block access to the end content or the page if the user knows where the content is located. So here I'm confirming that I do recognize these are the people that I want within my engineering group. And now that I've done all my prep work, let's log in as a user from the marketing department to see the search experience we've created there. I'm first logging in as a user of the marketing department. And you'll notice at this point that I have logged in as a different user. When I navigate to the search center, we immediately notice that I only have tabs for all sites, people, and marketing. I don't see tabs for the engineering department as I did with my system admin account because this user does not have permissions to view that page. 
when I execute a search through the marketing tab, I notice that the refinement panel on this page has been customized with categories based on the type of information that would be important to me as a marketing team member. I've specialized refinement categories for campaign, region, and product type. These allow me to drill in on search results on properties that matter to me, but may not be important to users in other departments. To add these categories, I edited the refinement panel web part for this page. Instructions for doing this are beyond the scope of this particular webinar, but you can find a video webinar on this subject through our YouTube site. Now that I've looked, for, looked at the specific search enhancement I've made for my marketing team, let's take a look at what I've done for my engineering team. So here I'm going to sign in as a different user. Switching over to another example, let's look at the page I've created for a user in my engineering department. So here we'll go and access the search center and now we're seeing that this user has different permissions. They can see all sites people and now an engineering tab. So here let's go to the engineering tab and execute a search. Once I've executed a search, just like the previous user, I have a customized search refinement panel for engineering. Like the marketing department, product type is something that might be interesting to me. However, items such as safety code and material are categories that are specifically catered to the types of information I want to find as an engineer. Now, I recognize that these are very basic customizations, uh, but you can use these same concepts to create extremely customized search experiences for your different user groups. You can customize the layout, background designs, web parts that are displayed, and even the actions that can be taken on results. By setting permissions, I can create pages based off of any of the customizations I could otherwise build in all sites or people search, but only display these pages to selected users. In addition to creating entire search pages that are only accessible to specific users, I may alternatively want to just have one search page that functions differently depending on my audience. I may just want to control a web part that appears for a user instead of an entire page. With SharePoint 2010, I can set any web part to be targeted to a specific audience group. This means that the web part will only appear for members of the selected audiences. As with the topic of creating user permissions, creation of audiences is beyond the scope of this webinar. Just like my permissions group, in this environment I've already created audiences for marketing and engineering that I'll want to use. Since I'm already logged in as a user of the audience group, let's take a look at the all sites search page for this user. Here you'll notice that I've applied a generic refinement panel, since this site is uh, used by everybody within my environment. You'll notice that the refinement panel on this page is displaying different categories than the engineering search page. This is because I have different filter category definitions showing. I don't have my engineering specific categories, but I do have a couple categories such as site and author that I did not display on my engineering search page. This illustrates a very important point. Web parts on different pages can be customized independent of each other. If I edit the refinement panel on the engineering page, those same attributes do not have to be applied to my all sites page or vice versa. Now, getting back to the subject of audiences, I want to bring specific attention to the presence of the people matches web part that I'm displaying here for my engineering user group. For illustration purposes, I know that my engineers care about learning uh, from other team members. They want to know who they can network with and who they can share skills with. If I know this about a group, I should work it into their search experience. For this reason, I've allowed this group to see the People Matches web part. Now, let's take a look at how this search experience changes for my marketing team members. So I'm going to log in as a different member.